So we're on top of the deck here, and there isn't a hose outlet, and we need to be able to hose off the deck and water the plants, so we're thinking about adding a hose bib to the top of the deck. There is a hose directly below here, under the deck, and we're thinking of running the line up to here and uh, coming out like this. So we picked up this shark bite hose bib, and we're going to use this with some other shark bite parts and some pecs to see how that works out. So what we're going to do is go down in the basement, find that uh, line that comes to the hose underneath the deck, and we're going to try to run off that and run up through the studs here and come in, come out right here. So let's get down in the basement. We've got a 10 foot piece of pecs, and here's some of the fittings that we got that are shark bite. Um, we got a couple of L's and we got a T, so hopefully this is enough to uh, hook everything together. So this isn't going to require any kind of soldering, we're just going to be able to pop these on and put everything in place and we should be good to go. I also got my hammer drill out and some bits and this will be for going up through the studs. So um, let's get started with finding the main line and uh, marking out where we're going to drill. So this right here is the half inch line that's coming off the three quarter inch uh, main line and it runs to the outdoor faucet that's underneath the deck. So we want to piggyback off of this here. So the first thing we want to do is find the shutoff valve right here and what we're going to do is turn this off to make sure we don't get water running all over. So once we got this off here, we might go outside and turn on the faucet make sure we drain uh, enough of that water out that we can and then what we're going to do is cut this open here, put one of our shark bites on here and then we're going to drill a hole and run right up through the studs here and hopefully we can get a good spot on the outside of the house to put that bib. Okay this here is the faucet from underneath the deck that we're piggybacking off of on the inside and so we've got the uh, line turned off so what we're going to do is try and drain some of that water out and it doesn't look like anything's flowing, so we should be good to go inside. So we decided that pretty much equidistant between this electrical outlet here and the end of the wall is where we want the bib to be, so around right here. So what I'm doing is I'm measuring from this door jam about 32 inches, and then I'm gonna go on the inside and measure that far over, and then we can look for the studs. So we measured 32 inches from the door jam on the outside, so we did the same on the inside here. And so about 32 inches is right here, and what I did is I drilled a little hole into this baseboard, and that'll go down into the basement so we can find out exactly where we're coming in. Now we can just, we're actually going to be replacing this, so that's not a big deal, but if you weren't replacing this, a little bit of putty and paint on there uh, will cover that up pretty easily. And then also what I did is I used the stud finder so we know exactly where the studs are in this wall. Um, and there is actually a stud about right here that's over, so what we're going to do downstairs is um, we actually want to come up in this stud bay here, so we're going to um, come up about three inches over this way and about a couple inches that way so that we come right up in that stud bay and we'll be able to run that pipe up into this wall here and go out exactly where we want it on the outside. Alright, so I'm going to drill a hole up through um, the spot we identified, and I'm going to use my hammer drill here to see if we can get up through that into that stud bay. Looks like we're in. Okay, we have the hole drilled there, so let's see if we can get this pex line up through and see if we have any obstructions. And it looks like we are free to go up there, so let's drill a hole from the outside and see if we can put some fish line in and then see if we can connect this up. So about right here is where we want our bib to be, and the PEX line is somewhere in this stud bay right here. So anywhere in here is fine because of the flexibility of the PEX. So we're going to drill a hole right here and then see if we can fish that line up through and then get everything set up. So I'll start by uh, drilling a hole from the outside here, and I'm just going to do a one inch hole and see if... Uh, we can fish that line. That 
that's it. Okay, so we got the fishing line coming up through the hole here, and we want to pull our pecs through. So I drilled a little hole in the end of the pecs, push our fish line through. I'm going to take a little piece of 12, or this is 14 gauge wire, so we can hook this up. And uh, that way it doesn't come loose. And once that's on there, we'll hit it with a little bit of duct tape. And since this is half inch PEX, the hole we have down in the bottom, I think, was three quarters inch or something like that. So this should be able to fit through just fine. And we'll wrap this so that it pulls through smoothly. And then we'll go down in the basement and we will pull this through. Okay, so we pulled this through here, and now what we want to do is connect this PEX up with our main line. So I cut a hole in here, um, and we are going to be able to stick this T, shark bite, right onto here. So we'll attempt to do that. All you need to do is slide that on, and push it through. Let's see what we got. So we slid it in there, and... I think we got a tight fit. And to create this, I just used a piece of plywood and I had some hardwood flooring. I ripped down, cut some 45s, put this on here, wood glued it and tacked it. So, um, so yeah, I think this will help keep it sturdy and uh, I might throw some primer on here and then we can um, finish up with the plumbing part. So we pulled this through in the basement. We got about six to eight inches hanging out of the wall here. So what we're gonna do is put these uh, shark bite pieces on so I cut a little, maybe three to four inch piece here. Um, I kind of estimated how much space I would need to push this right here back into the wall space, considering the uh, size of the wall space, which is about four and a half inches, uh, this three quarter inch ply, and then the siding there. So all we need to do is snap everything together. So what I want to do now is I'm actually going to uh, go in the basement, hook everything up down there, um, just to test it out to make sure I don't have any leaks and then I can get everything measured out correctly and then um, we can push this into the wall. So we got this L on here connected into the T with the short piece and everything is fully in the wall upstairs. So we're going to connect this up and then we should have everything connected and then we should be able to fasten the bib on the outside of the house, turn on the water, and we should be good to go. So, final part there. And we are all secure. And I think we are ready to start testing. Okay, so we got everything connected up in the basement. This is in there, so all we need to do is fasten this to the wall, and then we should be good to test. I got some exterior screws here. And let's get the other side. And I did pre drill these holes here. So that's a lot more sturdy than if we were just connected straight up to the siding here. So this is working exactly how I expected. And I've got it on, so we can go turn the water on and see if we can test this out. So I have the water turned back on downstairs. I don't see any leaks, so that's a good sign. And now we're gonna give it a test and see what kind of pressure we have. And that's exactly what I wanna see. So we're testing in good, and this thing is on here like a rock, um, even better than I was expecting, so I'm thinking this turned out really well. And we'll probably uh, get a little hose hook here and get everything set up and we're good to go.